Exactly, Xiaomi held an event in China where they announced the first official look of MIUI 11 based on Android 10 for closed beta testers and the public beta will be releasing on September 27 for almost 17 different devices in China and the Redmi K20 Pro, K20, Redmi Note 7, Mi 9 and some other popular devices are the first ones in the list which may receive the public beta in upcoming days. So I managed to install the early beta of MIUI 11 on my Redmi K20 Pro so watch this video and know Know more about MIUI 11 first official beta and its top features. Hey guys, my name is KSK Royal. Let's get started. Now, the MIUI 11 aims to bring in new features and improvements to your device which may enhance overall user experience in terms of performance, security, and reliability. Alright, as you can see, this is my Redmi K20 Pro running the official beta, uh, I mean the MIUI 11 beta based on Android 10. Now, let me quickly show you the version by going into the settings, my device, and as you can see, it's running MIUI 11 beta and it looks so cool. Now, talking about the new features and changes, first and foremost, MIUI 11 comes with a few brand new wallpapers out of the box which are fantastic just look at these beautiful wallpapers which are added to the system along with these static wallpapers you can see a new tab called dynamic where you're gonna find a new desert wallpaper which can change the look of the scene based on the time now MIUI 11 has a brand new bold font which looks incredible, it's simply superb thanks to dynamic font scaling feature which allows to increase the text size and font weight by adjusting a few parameter values. And in MIUI 11, the settings app looks fantastic. It's neatly organized with a few minor changes here and there, which lets you navigate into different settings very easily. Now, by default, you will get the MIUI 11 launcher, so which is not so good in this build. And I have installed the POCO launcher, which is more comfortable than the default ones. Now, talking about the MIUI 11 core features and the boring dark mode has finally made it to work with system-wide. Now, you can enable the dark mode from the quick tile setting. By default, this option will be added to the quick tile menu and you don't need to go to settings every single time to enable the dark mode, which is quite handy to use. Like I said, this is a dynamic system-wide dark mode. That means it does work with the third-party applications which support the dark theme. As you can see, if I enable the dark mode, uh, some of the third-party applications like Google News, Google Play Store, Google Chrome, and more supported applications adopting it without any issues. Just look at the Google Play Store. It's so good to see finally with MIUI 11 and Android 10. MIUI 11 also brings dynamic sound effects that resemble the ambient sounds from nature which can be used for notifications and events and it can be found inside the sounds and vibration settings. So these are the few nature sounds that are exist in MIUI 11. Now in MIUI 11, the ambient display styles has been taken to the next level. I mean, just look at the numerous styles which you can set for the always on lock screen. Also, Xiaomi has included all new effects for the incoming notifications. I mean, these are called notification animations which can show upon getting any incoming notification on the lock screen and it looks beautiful. MIUI 11 also comes with a feature called a screen time management to provide a real-time data on how much you spend on your device and for how many times you have unlocked your phone. Basically, it's just a digital well-being, so Xiaomi decided to name it as like screen time and they have modified according to iOS screen time. I mean, seriously, just look at this. They have completely gone too far to copy screen on time, which look exactly like iOS screen time. MIUI 11 comes with a feature to provide early earthquake warning through a pop-up window and alert sound. Also, in case of emergency, the MIUI 11 allows users to activate an emergency mode by pressing the power button five times in a row. Once the mode gets activated, it will send a message with location information to preset contact and automatically dial an emergency number. 
MIUI 11 also comes with a preloaded uh, two new suits of office applications which are called the MiWork and MiGo. The MiWork suit offers cross-platform file sharing, large document transfer between multiple devices, smart screencast and wireless printing. On the other hand, the MiGo suit which include a smart travel assistant and brings a new extreme power saving mode which enables a standby time of up to 24 hours with only 5% battery life. Unfortunately, I cannot show these features on this build and once the final release of MIUI 11 comes out we can expect to see this feature. Now lastly talking about the performance of MIUI 11 on my Redmi K20 Pro, I would say it's good, uh, I haven't faced any issues except the system launcher keeps crashing for some reason and there is a little bit of issue with the YouTube application sometimes, there is a glitch, the red color glitch will gonna be a pop up on the screen which is quite annoying and as of now I cannot say more about the performance but all I can say it's better than MIUI 10 in terms of speed of app launching and the animations are lot quicker now and that it guys this is the first look of official MIUI 11 beta and its feature running on Redmi K20 Pro and I hope you like this video then if you do hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video so thanks for watching this is your host KSK Royal peace out